feet, 75 feet. Car's looking good, down a half. 60. Dodge. Six forward. 60. 60 seconds. 60 seconds. Let me ask you something. Is this a real photo of the moon? Or an image of a 3D model rendered in Blender? And what about this one? How to tell, huh? Let's watch them together. To be honest, if it wasn't me who made the 3D render, I couldn't tell which is what. Here the answer. Photo B is the real one. This photograph of a nearly full moon was taken from the Apollo 8 spacecraft on December 22nd, 1968. Meaning that, yeah, photo A is in fact a render of a 3D moon created in Blender. The level of photorealism we can achieve with Blender is astonishing. Let's see how in just 5 minutes we can replicate an original photo of the moon and turn it to a 3D clip that is virtually indistinguishable from the real moon. The texture maps we are using in this project are completely free and very high quality. To get them, go to Google and type CGI Mooncap and click on the first link. It's a NASA website and there we will find a color or a video map and displacement. You can download them in different uh, resolutions, being 28 the highest, which is good enough to make a really highly detailed moon in Blender. I leave you the download link in the description below. First, let's go create the geometry for our moon. Add a cube and in edit mode, right click, subdivide, let's say 100 times, which is quite a lot, but we want a pretty high resolution because we will use displacement. Now in Mesh, transform to, to Sphere. And as we drag the mouse, we see how we transform our cube to a sphere, which is entirely made of quads, as opposed to a UV sphere. So we have a cleaner topology that admits much better the use of a soft surf modifier. Let's go to the modifier step and add subdivision surface. Now we can set the dimensions to 10 meters and apply both scale and shade smooth. And now we're ready to create the material for our moon. Before going to the shading panel, let's click on the render view and go to the world tab and change the color to pure black because the space is black and we see everything completely black because we haven't added any light let's go to add light sun and <coughs> sorry now this sun is illuminating our moon and let's make a little bit more room here we can get rid of this principal BSDF and use a more simple diffuse BSDF because we're only going to use color, roughness and normal. Actually the roughness we can already set to 0.75 because the moon is pretty flat and dusty. And let's go add an image texture, Control T. If you have the runner add-on enabled and you get this texture coordinate and mapping setup, we plug the color into color and BSDF to surface. We need to up, we see this uh, magenta because we haven't uploaded our, our texture map. We click on open, go to the CGI moon kit that we downloaded previously and select the base color. It's a 28K file so it's pretty massive and it might take a few seconds to upload but the level of detail is astonishing so there it is but is stretched so well that's why we have these notes here we need to set up 
the text view coordinate, generate it, plug into vector, and in our texture, image texture node, we set the projection from flat to sphere. And now the display of the base color is perfect and we can get very close because the resolution is super high and still get very good detail. Now let's set up the normal. We are going to use a bump a map and displacement. Very slightly but it's going to add a very nice look. So first Shift D, duplicate this node and upload the height map or displacement is this 23k so same as before it's pretty large let's connect vector into vector add a displacement map uh, sorry displacement node color to height and displacement to displacement it might take a few seconds to display because of the weight the high weight of the file and there it is but it's still not displacing that's because we need to go to the material properties and in settings we change displacement bump only by default to displacement and bump and now boom we see <laughs> uh, how displacement is actually working but in a out of recent way so we need to tweak these levels mid level that's set to zero and scale set by default in one let's make it way smaller something like 006 and there we go I hope you can see in your little screens how displacement really adds a lot. We can still make it look a little bit better if we add bump on top or of the displacement. We use the same height map for both so we only need to add a bump node, connect the color to the height and normal to normal of our diffuse BSDF. And again by default is way too much but if we set the strength or the distance it doesn't matter to 0.002 is just make everything sharper as only with the displacement but it really works it it looks really nice we can enhance the power of the Sun is set on one let's say four and well our moon is almost ready we're almost done my friends Last thing left to do is add a camera and place it exactly replicating the framing and light angle and everything of the original photo. So if we go to the camera, which is right there, we found exactly the position that matches. Now if we press zero on our keyboard, we can see how close, how really close we got to the original. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and that it can serve you as inspiration for you to start a moon project. Please subscribe to my channel, you will help me a lot to continue uploading tutorials. Thanks for watching.